good to see you. Hello, Mrs. Giganotosaurus. Please, call me Laura. Hey. Hi, Laura. Hello, Pteranodon family. Let me guess. You want to ride the dinosaur train? Yeah! All aboard! Um, why do we see you on the dinosaur train? Well, I like to help out the Troodons on the dinosaur train by serving as their lookout. Lookout? That is why I'm always here in the observation car. Also, because I don't really fit in the passenger coach. What's a lookout do? I love to observe. That's my favorite thing, observation. Observation? That means to look carefully at things. And Giganotosaurus have great eyesight. That makes me a good lookout. Why? I can really help the dinosaur train. With my sharp eyes, I can look way out ahead and spot things on the track. Wow, what a great job. A lookout. You know, T-Rex have sharp eyes too. Buddy, you're absolutely right. You and I have many of the same features. We're both theropods. What are theropods? Let's see. Number one, theropods walk on big three-toed legs. Two, we have a large head with lots of sharp teeth for eating meat. Three, a long tail that helps <laughs> keep us balanced. And four, we have a great sense of smell. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? I hope not. I'm out of fingers. That's a lot of things to remember. Mind if I make up a rhyme? One, big legs with three-toed feet. Two, lots of teeth for eating meat. Three, a long tail for balancing well. And four, theropods have a great sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That was lovely, Tiny. And I just remembered one more thing that Buddy and I share. Great eyesight. We love to observe. We all love to observe. You're right, Tiny. There is so much to see around us. The trees of the forest, the flowers, the birds. Oh yeah, Laura, we saw a bird today. Yeah, it was so beautiful, and we've never ever seen one like it before. Even I've never seen one like it. We were hoping you'd know what species it is. Maybe. Did you observe it closely? Hmm, its feathers were mostly kind of silvery and red and blue. Its wings were about this wide. And don't forget her tail feathers. Yeah, they were really long. And red and white on the end. Those are great observations. I think I know what species of bird you are describing. It sounds like an Avasaurus. Avasaurus? Mm-hmm. Avasaurus live along the rivers and swamps of the western interior sea. That's where pteranodons live as well. Wow. You sure know a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, I am a bird watcher, and bird watchers love to observe. I also love to draw birds. You draw birds? Yes. Would you like to see some of my work? Yes, yes please. please. Excuse me. Ah, yes, here we are. This one is called Archaeopteryx. This is one of my favorites. It's called Confucius Thornus. Talk about beautiful tail feathers. Wow, they're even longer than the Avisaurus. Oh, may I, Laura? Certainly. I'm so excited that you all saw an Avisaurus today. I have never had the chance to draw one, so I'll keep a sharp eye out as we ride the train. You never know. <gasps> Excuse me, better cover your ears. Stop the train! That's right, buddy. Oh, oh, Laura's here. Mmm, big one. Sure glad we didn't hit it. Nice lookout job, Laura. Thank you, Mr. Conductor. Now, if you will all give me a little room, please. You think she can move it? I bet Laura can move anything. 